Welcome back to Forte Sports. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a like for the algorithm that does help the channel grow. So it's a lot more discussions going on about Caitlin Clark's fan base. And it's getting out of hand when it comes to the WNBA media and the players. And you remember the CNBC interview with Kathy Ember when they was asking her about both fan bases of um, Caitlin Clark and Andrew Reese. And I thought I thought she handled it quite well. You know, she was saying it's good for the lead the rivalry and all that. Uh, when it comes to social media, you know, they got to ignore it. I agree. Get off of social media. I said this in, in that video. You can go check that out. Get off of social media, man. Um, you're going to have trolls. A lot of them. You're going to have good. Every, it's going to be bad apples in every fan base. Um, I recommend that you get off of social media if you don't want to deal with it because it's going to happen in today's age when we're living in this, you know, strong social media era. But you had Renee Montgomery, who's a former WNBA player and a co-owner of the Atlanta Dream. She had some strong comments towards the Caitlin Clark fan base. I'm going to let you guys hear what she had to say and come back and give you more of my thoughts group cannot be a representation of what the WNBA would want in their league. This is our league. This was built like I feel like as a women's basketball historian myself, I've been watching since I was five. I was here before the league started as a lot of the fans on social media feel the same. That ain't a representation of us. Y'all not like us. They not like us. OK, so please don't confuse me saying motivated by hate by meaning hating on a team the way a normal diehard fan would. For instance, let me just give you some examples. A diehard Falcons fan can hate the Saints, but they would be going a little bit too far if they created nude AI pictures of Saints players and then sent them to the Saints players' families. That's what Caitlin Stans have done to Angel Reese. A diehard Tennessee Vols fan could have hated our Yukon Huskies, but they would have been going way too far if they sent death threats to the Yukon players. And that's what they've done. That's what Caitlin Stans have done. A diehard Celtics fan could hate the Lakers. And you know what? <laughs> if we being honest, that Celtics fan base has definitely gone too far with some of their racist remarks and their treatments of players. It's not okay. It's okay to be a hater in sports. Like hating in sports is a part of the game. Like I like when our fans are so engaged and so passionate that they just don't like the other team. But being racist, sexist, and violent with your words, come on now, what are we doing? Come on now, that's not acceptable. I mean, honestly, imagine if one of the stands said the things that they were saying, what if they said it to your daughter, your wife, your cousin, your sister? Folks might be ready to fight, okay? So, Caitlin, unfortunately for her, this is a group that is attached to her, not her asking this group to follow. It seems that they found a home in this fan base thinking that that's where it was. But recently some things have shown where Caitlyn recently liked a post by Taylor Swift and it was supporting VP Harris. And on that post, all she did was like it. And this Caitlyn stands group that I'm talking about, the stands have now split against Caitlyn. They're actually going against Caitlyn. I'm gonna read some of the tweets. This is what they're saying to Caitlyn now. I was just starting to finally pay some attention to the WNBA because somebody was actually worth watching and then you caved. Another fan said, definitely should have stayed out of politics at Caitlin Clark. I love watching you, but now I refuse after seeing you support Taylor Swift and Kamala. Why did you like Taylor Swift's post endorsing Kamala? We thought you were like us. What's going on? So Caitlyn had these big expectations when she came into the league and she's clearly exceeding all of them, not on the court, not only on the court, but off of the court being an ambassador for these brands. But something sinister is happening online with Caitlyn's fan base and these stands that needs to be addressed. So all I'm saying is sports hate is OK. It's acceptable. It's actually welcome. We love the passionate fans, but some of y'all. Y'all are taking it too far, man. Do better. So before I start talking about Kate and Clark's fan base, I do not approve of all the AI images of these players being sent to their families and all that. That does need to be handled. Like there needs to be something done, but AI is not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere, um, unfortunately. But I don't approve of that. That, that. that does need to stop. That's getting out of hand. 
But when she's talking about her fan base, like I've been saying in that last video with the um, Kathy Ember situation, you're gonna have trolls. You're gonna have bad apples and fan bases. That's gonna happen. When your league is popping right now, it's finally getting some recognition. It's attracting a lot of eyeballs. There are gonna be trolls that come with it. That's gonna happen. It's happened in every sports league. Soccer, I mean, NBA, NFL, M MLB, it's gonna happen. And it just seems like these women, and I hate to say it like this, that they can't handle it right now. It's, it's driving them crazy right now. But this is what the attention's going to bring. It's gonna bring those type of eyeballs. It's the same thing when gambling got legalized. You're going to bring some bad apples with it. J.B. Bickerstaff, and I did a video about this a while back, that people were attacking him verbally, sending him messages about, you know, they know where he lives and all that. He acknowledged this. And the thing I don't think I heard, I don't remember him attacking all the gamblers, all the people who placed their bets, just those who were trying to, um, you know, back him into a corner because he made certain certain decisions of taking certain players out of the game when they was trying to get a spread or something like that. But he never attacked all gamblers. You're gonna have bad apples when it comes to gambling. People who can't hold their emotions or their um, urges. It happens. It's gonna happen. Especially when you become a public figure like Caitlin Clark. You know, she, and like Taylor Swift, she mentioned Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift and the Swifties, man. Swifties are crazy, but you're going to have some good fans. You're going to have some crazy fans, some trolls. And Taylor Swift certainly has a lot of that, but she can't control it. She can't control all that. She can go out and say some stuff like them, but them Swifties are not going to, those crazy Swifties are not going to stop. You know, and when she's mentioning her liking, the, her liking that picture, Long as long as I don't care who you vote for, as long as you don't beat it over my head, don't beat it over my head. Don't be Caitlin Clark is not coming off like these activists and those who who say they're no longer Caitlin Clark fans. You weren't fans to begin with. Then if that's the case, because she's not acting like an activist, she's not beating it over your head like these other celebrities trying to tell you to do what you need to do and all that. She's not doing that. So she still I still will enjoy her. You know, she's being smart like Angel Reese when she was asked about um, the Harris um, candidate. She didn't acknowledge it. She just said the smart. She did the smart thing and just said, you just need to get your information right and vote for who you want to vote for. That was a smart thing to do. But I just don't think the media around this WNBA understands the assignment. I that they do not. And like Charles Barkley said, these women... In this league is gonna f it up. It's gonna f. It up. I don't even right now. I don't think Caitlin Clark can save this league how it is. I don't think she can save it, and that sucks because she's she's the golden goose. Um, and that's why I gave Commissioner Ellenberg a lot of credit. She understands the assignment. You got a lot of people trying to say she needs to be fired. She's the best thing that's happened to this league right now for how she's trying to build the league up. But these women, the media around here is a mess. And it's going to be tough to weed it out in these players because they they seem like they're in unity right now. And they don't, under, they don't understand. And got the media, ESPN is a part of this problem too. We saw with Stephen A. Smith going to war, him and Shannon Sharp with the women on that. So um, it just seems like the only person, in my opinion, that understands the assignment that's not a player is Nancy Lieberman. And, of course, you got the men. The men, they understand it. Charles Barkley, LeBron, Dwayne Wade, and all of them. I did show you videos of how they acknowledge Caitlin Clark and how this will help grow the lead. But the women, they seem like they're just basing it on their feelings and not um, thinking logically. And I hate to say that about, you know, bringing it towards gender, but it just seems like a couple, a few women understand the assignment and um, the more, majority or just thinking with their feelings but post comments let me know what you guys think about this situation it's it's getting a little bit out of hand where it's getting towards like i don't think this league is salvageable right now hopefully that changes my mind in about maybe a year or so maybe they'll finally understand it but if they don't get on board this league is doomed post comments let me know what you guys think make sure you like and subscribe to the channel
Oh.